everyone today we'll be talking about the types of building and building material and before we move on let's quickly look at the learning objective at the end of this lesson students should be able to define a building state types of building by their design state type of building by their uses state the material used in building construction list the uses of building my name is Akiade Bambo let's move to the main to the class what is a building a building can be defined as a shelter where we can live play worship transact business and produce goods and services e.g houses classroom block church mosque warehouse factory and so on and so forth what are the type of building we have by their design there are various type of building and can be identified by their design construction and here are some of the building one we have bungalow this is a small house or cottage that has only one floor that is ground floor and may be surrounded by wide verandas the second one is duplex this is a house plan that has two living room units attached to each other either next to each other or above each other like apartments and the third one is story building a story building is a building with more than one floor that accommodate people for living business and other uses the fourth one we'll be talking about is semi detached or terrace building these are built these are a series of units of buildings along a line joined together with common dividing walls and the fifth one is skyscraper a very tall story building with many stories that is many floors and this can be seen in that on the uh, on the island like Lagos island where we have a building that has 20 15 20 30 floors like we used to see and these are what is called skyscraper the sixth one is aunt. This is a small unit and usually round and covered with arch. And this is what we have in the northern side of the country. It also exists in the east and in the west. And this is made up of mud and is a living or dwelling place. From there, we move on to buildings classify according to their uses one we have residential building these are buildings that are like houses where we live in commercial buildings or stores these are buildings where buying and selling activity is done the third one we have school building these are buildings where teaching and learning takes place, just like we have in our current school. Likewise, we have hospital building. From the name, you can denote what the, the purpose of the building. This is the building where healthcare services is rendered. Likewise, we have hostel building, just like we have in our school, where this where hospitality is given. That is where strangers and visitors are taken care of. We also have office building. Just like you have your administrative block in your in your in the school, it's called office building. These are building where people do their office work. We also have church and mosque building. These are building where religious activities are performed and there are several others of the type of building by their uses. So on your own, you can still go or look around and look at all that building classify according to, to their uses. 
having the understanding of building by their uses. Let's move on to the next topic. Uh, one is material used in building construction. There are several materials that are used in building construction, and below are some of them. Number one, cement. Cement is used as a bonding agent for sand, aggregates, bricks, and blocks, and is a fundamental material in building construction. Number two, aggregate. These are crushed granite, gravel, and sand. They are classed as either coarse stone, medium, and fine sand type. They are used as concrete. Number three, steel. Steel is used to reinforce concrete, like we have our linted and our decking. They are also classified classed as either high, high carbon steel, medium or low carbon steel. The fourth one is water. Water is as is a paramount material in building construction because without water you cannot mix cement, aggregates and sand. Water is required for mixing concrete and concrete. Five, concrete. This is a mixture of cement, sand, gravel, and water. It is generally used to bear load in building. Number six, concrete block. These are blocks produced from the mixture of cement, sand, and water. These blocks are used for erecting walls. Just like we have in the house, in the building, and likewise for the fence. Seven, bond bricks. Bricks are used for building, for building, furnace and incinerator, and most especially for decoration of building, just like we have in our e libraries, and it's used to decorate the front of the e library. Eight, mortar, which is plaster. Mortar is a pastry wall is used for pastry wall to be smooth for painting. Mortar is the combination of sand, cement, and water, and this is used to cover the bricks so we can have a smooth surface that will allow easy and convenient for painting. Number nine, wood. It is used for making doors, windows, window and door frame, ceiling, hangar, staircase, and it's also used as phone work in the construction. So the importance of wood is as important as water and as important as block, as important as cement. All these are major material used in building construction. Likewise, we have glass and other ceramic. Glasses are used to beautify, just like we have our windows and illuminate building. Ceramics, just like tiles, are used to decorate and cover the floors. There are many other materials used in building construction that are not mentioned here. On your own, you can still go around and get more or list out some of this material. So let's move to the next item, which is the uses, the use of building. There are several uses of building, and below are some of them. Buildings are used as shelter, that is our homes where we sleep at night. Buildings are used as a place of worship. Just like we have our churches and mosques, is a place of storage where we keep our farm produce, just like agricultural building. Building is also used as security, that is for protection, to protect, to protect us from wild animals and other things. It's a place of knowledge, just like our classroom. 
building is also used for business that is for example our banks and supermarket and other business activity is done inside a building that building is also used as a realization just like we have our hotel and cinemas and we still have more list of at what building is being used for and you need to do more research on this and also list out other uses of building that are not stated in this slide thank you we have come to the end of this lesson but before we go let's look at what we have learned uh, from this lesson we have been able to define a building know the type of building by their design likewise the type of building by their uses we have also been able to know the material commonly used in building construction and their uses likewise we have also talked about the uses of building which is shelter and other things so with this understanding let's quickly answer this question one define a building two list three type of building by their designs three mention five type of building by their uses four mention five material materials used in building construction and five mention four uses of building and if you have answered this question, you can simply send the answers to your teacher to mark or you can send it to us at chimo at edufresh.ng. We'll be glad to receive and get feedback from you. Thank you and see you in the next class. Bye.